This is really not what I wanted today. Dang it. <laughs> in my water jug. <laughs> hey friend, good morning. Levi here. This might be some of the coldest camping I've done on a Sprinter Ram so far. Uh, first objective of today is just get coffee made and we'll, we'll, we'll tackle the rest of it then. It's gonna be a big day. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I soldered together the cable that had snapped off. I'm not exactly sure what that cable's for. I feel like it's probably for the antennas that come down the side. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna boot everything up here and we'll see how the first flight goes after, after the crash from 30 feet to pavement. Yo friend, what is up? Levi here. And this week, I wanna take you along on what's probably, actually most definitely the, the most unique filming project, client project of mine, of probably all of 2017. It's a, it's a really unique circumstance, and it's why I've come all the way down here to Idaho. And, and so, I don't even know like how to capture what fully is gonna happen across the next five days. But it's gonna be a really big deal and, and I wanna try explain to you what's all going on. Whoa. Sometimes you can get some really unpleasant looks. So you could like remove it and get. Yeah, it's pretty quick removal, right? And get. Got it. And it just makes it look pro. Right, 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 no, it's important. <laughs> okay, so there's this YouTube couple named Jesse and Alyssa. And across the past two years, they've been documenting and sharing their journey to setting up an off-the-grid, debt-free lifestyle in northern Idaho. It's been a fascinating process to kind of go back and look what their whole journey has been like so far. But basically, they reached out to me, I think what's now months ago, being like, hey, we found your YouTube channel. We, we like your work. We like your ability to tell a story. We've got a really big project coming up that we'd love to have you involved in. They actually wanted to be able to bring in the people from their community, those that have been following the journey, give them an opportunity to actually play a really practical part in helping to bring this house to life. Because they have an incredibly loyal following of like hundreds of thousands of people on YouTube. There's a lot of people that have been really impacted by their journey and they wanted to be able to create a, a place where people could come and join them on this project in this epic raising of a wooden timber frame house out of all the logs that they've milled themselves. So that's where I came in. They, they set forward the motion of actually setting up what would be a workshop on how to timber frame. And they brought in a group called the Shelter Institute, which teach timber framing professionally. And they brought them out to their property in Idaho. And across these five days, <laughs> this is kind of mind blowing. Across these five days, apparently, all this timber lying around on their property the Shelter Institute is going to teach all these people that have traveled from across the country and the world, I believe, how to, how to do this, and then and then they're going to do it. They asked, you know, we've been self-filming all of our videos, but this week is going to be nuts. Could you come film it so that way we could actually be present as much as we can in the whole journey and not miss out? And so that's what brings us here. I am now here in Northern Idaho. I have now seen the property. 
with all these timbers lying around, I've seen the RV, I've kind of seen their setup, I've seen their sawmill. I got to see them physically milling the last log of their home, which is crazy because that log was a tree three days prior. So literally, logs that were just trees have now been milled by, by Jesse and Alyssa across the past three weeks. And in five days, they're gonna be prepped for this beautiful wooden joinery that's gonna become their two-story house on this off-the-grid property, building this incredible home. This is super awesome. I, I mean, I did not know what to expect coming down here, but getting to meet Jesse and Alyssa in person, it, I can just tell this week is gonna be awesome. I'm just really looking forward to helping take some of the pressure off them from filming their own video. And really, I really just hope that it that it ends up being an experience that they get to appreciate and enjoy because they've been working like non-stop. Hopefully, as I'm explaining all this to you, I have some gorgeous footage that was being overlaid during this process just because I know my personal vlog is going to be a low priority this week. So I'm hoping uh, the footage that I cut in here really helps uh, set home the idea. Everyone's just gonna line up and have to take a line before we start today. Is that how shelter works? <laughs> yeah. I thought better of you guys. <laughs> Which way is south here? Okay, so we're here this morning. First full day of the workshop. Things started off pretty cold this morning, but thankfully as the sun's come up, it's uh, warmed up a lot. First, first order of business this morning was getting everyone acquainted with their with their squares so that way they could drop nice square lines on their pieces of timber. So that way when you actually go to cut it, you're, you're gonna be able to actually do a square cut. What's going on here this morning? Well, I just lost my tape measure again. <laughs> uh, What's going on this morning is that everyone has finally started chiseling and by finally I mean they're very excited to get into the chiseling. All of the layout on the post seems to be done and it's kind of an exciting time to start digging into the wood. So you just bought this on Amazon, eh? Can we put an Amazon link in the description? Or? Yeah, the affiliate link will be will be down in the description. Check the description. Just like that, the sun's going behind the hill. All this work's gonna come to an end in, in just a moment or two. Five o'clock's cutoff time. Sun's going down, temperature's gonna drop. What's up? So the theme of today is hurry, winter is coming. And pretty much all you see is snow. I see a lot of snow on there. And my mom, like every hour, not really, is sending me a more official forecast with percentages of snow, and it looks like it's snowing. So what so, does that mean? I think that means work as hard and as long as you can today, just in case, because 
Weather could slow us down. Look at that pretty tenon. Wow. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're out here for another beautiful day of timber framing. It's been kind of cool seeing everyone build up the foundational skills and now just like implementing them. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how everything comes together. So far, the progress has been fantastic. The only issue is as we look at weather, the weather is not promising at all for later in the week. We're really making headway. We have finished timbers, we're putting them up on the second floor. So we can get some oil on them, so we're ready right. to go. How's the quality of the... Really good. <laughs> the quality is good. It's really looking good. <laughs> I'm super happy with the quality. <laughs> Can you say more about my, my light gear? Light is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Way better than mine. <laughs> Levi, you saved the night. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, friend. Good morning. Levi here. Woke up this morning. Uh, today's the big day. Today's the timber frame raising day. And uh, let's take a look outside. Hopefully the weather cooperated, right? Yeah, no. I'm not saying it's chaos out here, but uh, it's probably just about as close as it feels like to chaos on a day when it's timber frame raising time. Yeah, so there's a lot of filming I got to get going on. Whew. Hopefully this all works out. It, it should. Bent.
believe how much room all these timbers took and then there's like whoop. I can't believe that you almost have a house up there. That's the thing about timber framing is it's like, I mean normally it's months and months and months and months and months of work, you know, and it's like moving puzzle pieces around. And then whoop, there's a house, like really fast because all the mm -hmm. pieces go together really quick. So usually people drive by in the morning and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, not, not much change. Like, ah, ah, there's a house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's timber framing. Hey, it's been a good week, guys. This has been awesome. I've had a lot, of, a lot of fun meeting your people that came from all over the country and even the world to come build this house with you guys. Yeah. I think, I think it was mutual. Yeah. I think they liked you, Levi. I, I always have fun on a project where I get to learn something, and I learned a lot this week, so it was Everyone's like, such Levi's so cool. Like, he just got in there and started chiseling, and like, do you think someone like me could do that? And Levi was full on having a snowball fight with like a seven year old, a 10 year old, and like a three year old. I saw this, but there was no camera, I don't think, but it no. was it was a flipping it was riot. Awesome. Yeah, so good. Levi's got like machine guns, and it's like <laughs> obliterating. His it's kid. kind of unfair. Levi just fit right in. It was. And all perfect. the parents are like, yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think everyone should go check out, especially especially these videos uh, from the, the raising of the timber frame, but even checking out all the videos leading up to here. It's pretty crazy to see what they've done with this property. Yeah. So thanks for allowing me to be a part of the product, you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. And uh, Thank you. until the next one. Yes. Wow. At some point today, I knocked over my Sony a6300 while it was on and so the lens was extended and it knocked off my table inside the van, went smack on the ground and the lens just snapped in half. That is, that is really unfortunate. I did not intend for that to happen uh, and it kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, filming this week was uh, a good challenge. It was fun to kind of tackle making sure that I was getting enough footage and also balancing the me interacting behind the camera because they asked for a bit of that and kind of making it vlog style but documentary style. I'm curious to see how it goes for them editing the material together because that was kind of one of the things with this project where I would just shoot all the material, pass it over to them and they would edit it because frankly I didn't even have time to take on another project with editing. So it's kind of nice to just come in, do what I do best which I think is the shooting, pass it all over to them and just kind of see what they come up with. Uh, I've been really loving the GH5 rig that I've kind of set up here with going between just using the one wooden handle from small rig and also adding on the additional handle. Today when I was filming in the snow I had this like cardboard thing rigged up above my camera so that way snow wasn't getting all over my camera and that actually worked really well. It was like this umbrella situation that was pretty awesome. That's going to be it for the Idaho vlogs. I'm going to head home early tomorrow morning. Uh, excited to be back with my wife for the weekend. Thankful for the opportunity to be involved in this project. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching in this video. Catch you guys in the next one. And remember, this, this behind me is proof. Life's better when you make stuff. <laughs>